Good morning, everybody. Let's go move some cattle, shall we? We've got a couple hundred head we're sorting. Hector, Aaron, and Cody are currently sorting them. Man, they got that look. They're currently sorting the cattle. I came down to get the truck. Stop and get an empty weight on the way past the scale, and we'll go get loaded. All right, here's the scale. Just wheel on here nice and easy. We put this thing in probably six, seven years ago now, and I think it's one of the best things we've done. It's amazing how much stuff gets weighed between all the different commodities we have, cattle, everything. All right, let's go stamp a ticket right quick. It's just an old army box that a surplus company in town had. Pick up a ticket. Maybe I'll grab a ticket. There we go. Put it on the empty line. Hit print. There we go. Yeah, let's go get loaded. All right, guys. So I got 56 head loaded up. About two thirds of a load. Uh, just got them weighed. Now I'm headed to our corrals that are about four miles away. But I, I forgot how much fun this truck is. I love this thing because you got two awesome parts. You got the screaming turbo, and then the awesome Jake brake. <laughs> I love this W900. I spent most of one side of the harvest in it when we first got it, when I got out of college. By far my favorite truck at the time. All right, let's go get these unloaded. All right, welcome to pin set number four. Just a couple of tumbleweeds. Most of these right here. Ugh, sorry, I got stuck to the fence. Most of these right here I had to throw out of this so I could even get into here. Then I got a pile back there. These cows are not going to want to come off this truck with all them weeds around just because how naturally spooked they are by everything. But let's give it a whirl. Watch your head in here. It really hurts when you jam your head into one of these beams. Come on, boys. There's room for you. Alright. Get that back, back up. Ow. See what I mean about hitting your head? Oh. Six foot two is too tall for these trailers. I'm getting everything, everything in shot. Never tried to do this one handed while holding a camera. There. Go to the outside for this bunch. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody start us off. Ah. 
I'm gonna need two hands. I'm gonna see if I can't find somewhere to set you guys over here. Like that. Come on. Hi. And there we have it. Load number one. Done. Probably two more to go. These corrals, I mean, as you can see, we're on pasture. That's the canal right over there. So that's why you can see farm ground right below it. But this is up here on the dry land above. This is pasture we've had forever. But the corrals have only been here for a couple of years. Used to be our way of loading and unloading cattle from our pasture up here was a set of old wooden corrals a mile north of here. So you had to take a little two track along that fence line for a mile to get to them. Really inconvenient, I don't know why. Well, the last year or so that we had them, the chute, we didn't know if it was gonna stay standing to load the cattle out. It was getting really bad. So we came up here and knocked it down, said now we have to do something different. We figured, well, since we gotta build a chute, a head catch for doctoring, and some little corrals to sort in case you need to catch some sick ones or something or load some out midsummer. Why don't we just put up two corrals and then we can feed cattle up here in the winter? Yeah. Our one worry up here is as you can see looking north, there is nothing. What's worrisome about that is if and when we do get a big snowstorm, there's nothing to slow it down. So we got bales and then the concrete wall just in case try and knock some of that snow down so let's go load up another load see what the plan is all right here we go load number two it's actually the last load i got to haul because they haul a bunch of the pickup and trailer but i got a full load it's got to go to the far pins so i got hector over there cody over there Set up the camera here on the chute and see what this looks like.
Alright guys, so we sorted just shy of 200 head, went to one, two, three, four, five different pins. Like I said, this is, this is kind of our niche in the cattle industry. I don't want to deal with cow-calf, I don't want to fatten cattle. We take small lots, group them together, and send them to the feedlot semi-loads at a time. So the last group you saw me unload, those guys will be gone in three weeks. They were pretty big. But we put them in with some other ones that were the same size. That fills that contract, so that contract is ready to go in three weeks now. Then the other load I took, those guys are a long ways off. They took a pickup load up there, and then the pickup hauled like five other loads, dumping them in different pens, just getting pens full of ones that are the same size, so that way we kind of we kind of have an idea of what we have where, and then it lets us better market. Um, our contracts out in the future because we know hey we'll have 240 head that are ready about this time and then we can get that contract signed and take the risk out of it we we really like to forward contract all of our cattle ideally I want to sell them the day after I buy them that way I lock in the price if it's a good price I should say um, that way I'm locked in on the price it takes a lot of the risk out of this game and then all we have to do is just keep them alive, keep them growing, and we're, we're good to go. So, with that, it's almost 12.30. It's time to go find some lunch and then figure out what we got to do the rest of the day. Uh, make sure, give the video a good thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video.